Hello everybody, welcome to Monday Night Claw, I'm Jim McMahon and with me is Gorilla Metal. Hello, 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 I am Gorilla Metal. We are here in Detroit, Rock City for Monday Night Claw, and I can still get erections, damn it. <laughs> that was for, that was for J5. Hello everyone, <laughs> we have a huge show tonight. Nothing but tag team matches to determine maybe once and for all if we can find anyone to rise above the rest and get their tag team title shot for the two heads titles at SummerSlam this Sunday night. And it's going to be all over the place. Our first match, the Red Hot Unnatural Snackers versus the Rigor Mortis Induced, but still hanging on there. Uh, Six feet down under. Yep. And uh, yeah, the uh, the Snackers with uh, Muppet Pac-Man in their corner, they've been on a tear as of late. Uh, Satterfield couldn't quite get the job done last Wednesday to match J5's success. That would have probably put them over the top, but they still had a hell of a showing. And in my opinion, they are not only the best tag team in the JFW, but the most worthy of a title shot at SummerSlam in just a few days. Yeah, and it, depending on how the cards fall the rest of the night, you've got to think if they win this and some other people lose, they, they're going to be the ones on their own. But it could be a triple threat. It could be TLC. It could be anything, couldn't it? could even be an eight-man match. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, we, we, we've been rewarded by those multi-man matches in the past. It would be shocking to me if it was just a straight two-on-two -two match. Uh, I think... You know, it's hard to take anything away from the Snackers, but then also you've got the, well, <laughs> the way they tell it, dressed for business, who just had some big matches last week and finally, finally got that little spark of momentum. And uh, Lemon will talk about it ad nauseum no matter what. So we got to acknowledge it. But then there's all these other tag teams just on the fringes that a couple wins this week could really send them over the top. So who knows what's going to happen. All we can do is get to ringside and check out the action. You're really good at this, Gorilla Metso. And here, <laughs> <laughs> here are the Snackers. Yeah, absolutely making their way out. J5, Pac-Man, and Snackerfield. Sat Satterfield. Satterfield. <laughs> <laughs> Tossing those bootios, gyrating those hips, and making sure everyone's got their pancakes. <gasps> oh yeah. Snackerfield is pretty good. It's better than Satatoad, which is my my go-to name. I can't, I can't help calling him Satatoad. Yep. And there goes the last one, so it's time to get in the ring, and here we go. The funny thing is, he was shit, and I never even used him. <laughs> like, Vulvadrill was legendary. <laughs> but like Satatoad, I just like the name. <laughs> but, well, oh, was he, was he one of your Pokemon? Yeah. Yeah, because the, the actual Pokemon is Seismitoad. And then he became Satatoad. And uh, and since then, I've, I've just been able to call Satterfield Satatoad. <laughs> yeah, it's Not a big fair. I've always, I've always kind of wondered where that came from. All right, but J5 looks ready. And out they come, the zombie warriors. Six feet down under. That's my demon. And get a neck. <laughs> He's, he's come a long way since coming off that slab at the morgue. Uh, after breaking his neck in the ring, we thought his life and career were over. And in fact, that's true. Well, half true. His life did end, but he was resurrected and brought back to keep on fighting. And he found some leadership in Night Demon. And they've been a pretty damn good tag team. You can't say they've been at the top of the at the top of the uh, the lists here because they have suffered a few losses, but they sure are an imposing force. They certainly are. Yeah, Muppet, I just literally forgot. I did I did mess it up and I could have gone back and changed it at 4 a.m. and then I thought I'll do it tomorrow because it was like quarter past four and I thought, oh, do you know what? I'll do that tomorrow and then I didn't. 85% <laughs> effort. 
Oh, wow. And look at we're that. off. Oh, good day, Nick. The running knee right off the bat plants J5, and he, he means it tonight. He's here for a fight, but J5 quickly recovering and now all over good day, Nick. What's this from Gadea now? I've never seen oh, that the Oh, he did it. Yeah, he did it last week, too. It's that weird shin breaker. It's a pretty cool mm. move. <laughs> Playing on dead here as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if you're new to the JFW store, Virtus, you should know this is some of the hottest action on Twitch. And I don't mean from a booby streamer. But, uh, yeah, this is all AI versus AI. We have created the wrestlers, and we let them go to town, and we follow the stories that the game gives us organically with no coaxing whatsoever behind the scenes. Ever. <laughs> this, is more, this is more honest than a CCL competition with cheating Spaniards. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the deadlift power bomb on J5. That's a big man to do that to. Again, 19 minutes, six feet down under. Really know that this is their last shot to really compete and try and get into SummerSlam for a title shot. Absolutely. Oh, damn. Oh, the quick roll up. Gdanik not very troubled. Or excuse me, J5 not very troubled by that one. Knew uh, knew the kick out was coming. <laughs> the savage fists of Night Demon though, as he unloads on Satterfield. <laughs> Satterfield battling back. Yeah, he's gonna have to make a tag, and his partner is not one for liking to have to do much at any given time. So uh, we'll see what happens here. But, the, you know, just as desperate as six feet down under are, the Snackers are pretty damn motivated. A win here all but seals their shot, whether or not they have to face one team or four. If they win tonight, you've got to believe they are going to SummerSlam this Sunday. Yeah, this Sunday, everybody. Unbelievable. 8 p.m. UTC. Yeah. Right here on Twitch. Yeah. Probably advertise it anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, some tag team maneuvering. Look at that. Oh, beautiful, beautiful move. But is he going to let him make the tag out to J5? Desperate for the tag. Satterfield has a shot here. He can tag out if he wants. He does not want. He wants to get his revenge on Gdanik. <laughs> it only makes Sigourney Weaver poop, J5. <laughs> Oh, look at that, the springboard suplex. That was great, wasn't it? Oh, oh the boy. double stop, one of the biggest, one of the biggest man who's not made of metal in the JFW <laughs> right down on his lungs. Luckily, Gdanik doesn't draw breath, doesn't phase him whatsoever. <laughs> Vicious stump. They've both been in for a while, haven't they? They've both taken a fair amount yeah. of damage. Gadenic yeah, J5 Saturday. did start this match, but he tagged out real quick. Might be one of those nights where J5 might have had uh, one too many of those treats that he's uh, hawking on his shirt there. And uh, maybe uh, maybe trying to hold one in, doesn't want to run around the ring too much. <laughs> what the hell is oh, this? Oh, look at this. The muscle buster into... Big elbow? No, it doubles. Oh, a coup de gras. Unbelievable. That's two finishers right on Satterfield. And now we might see an AA, too. Six feet down under. Really bringing it tonight. That was incredible, wasn't it? Absolutely. Oh, but Satterfield fighting his way back in this. Cannot seem to... Oh, no, he does keep up with Night Demon. Now he's got the tag to J5. And here we go. This match is about to turn on its head with a weird spinning kick that hits <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Oh, God, he's smashing him into the corner. Yep. Oh. oh, wrenching that shoulder on the turnbuckle post. <laughs> <laughs> Completely no sells it. Yeah, Night, Night Demon is just a force to be reckoned with when he wants that win. Oh, here comes the big kick to the head. <laughs> Might see an AA soon, the way he's been, he's been running. Absolutely. 
No, probably shouldn't tell you the thing. I think Night Demon should have probably stayed in for a bit. Good yeah, he's the, the hot thing. man right now. He should have stayed in. Yeah. Here's J5 instantly taking over the match. Yep, yep. And sure enough, that was a mistake. Tagging in the guy who already had done a, done a, a lion's share of the work tonight. Oh, oh. Brutal name from J5. Yep, J yeah, J5. All no flash tonight. Will we see top rope Johnny? Will we see the uh, the match ending shake rattle and roll <laughs> ended for the snackers? Ah, okay, they're back. They're back in business. There we go. They're just trying to. Oh, look at this! All these nice tag team maneuvers. The, the big boot, the inverted atomic drop. Great stuff. And J5 is down, but uh, Night Demon not pressing his advantage. At all, he's just missing. Oh no, we got him there. <laughs> he didn't practice. Practice oh. makes perfect. And now we see. Uh, oh, another double kick coming. Oh, so savage. And J5 wisely rolls out of the ring to avoid contact there. <laughs> Can he fight his way back into this? Or is Night Demon going to stay in control? Looks like the latter. <laughs> he had a bit of a flurry there, didn't he? That punch thought he was going to maybe get back into it. But... Can you call a single punch a flurry? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, another one of those beautiful suplexes. Ah, he even showboats it a little bit. <laughs> Now another tag out to Gnanik. Now you can see their strategy here. Yeah, it might have been a mistake earlier, but they're just trying to go to the quick tags, keep the rhythm breaking up on J5, keep the pressure on. He doesn't know where these attacks are coming from sometimes, but he knows where that one came from. His fist to Gnanik's face. And now J5 is back on his feet. No, the quick counter. Oh, <laughs> and J5 in some trouble here. Satterfield begging for the tag in. Muppet doing absolutely nothing on the ringside. <laughs> oh! Oh, jeez. Oh, Death Valley driver, I believe. <laughs> he doesn't go Shea for J5 is getting absolutely worked over right now. That vicious neck crank. We've seen that in matches before, <laughs> folks. We absolutely have devastated. Oh boy, and Rick Reckless bringing in the hordes of JFW fans. Can't imagine what else they'd be expecting to see right now. Welcome, Rick Nation. Go. Our chaos chosen champion. Haven't heard from him in some time. Supposedly has a match this Sunday, but I'll believe it when I see it the way he's been ducking out of competition. <laughs> Yeah, thank you very much, Rick. And, uh, oh, God, you're in for a treat. You're in for a treat, that's all I can say. If you stick around. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag, he's our champion. No debates there. Rick has earned that belt. He just hasn't really done anything with it. But we've seen the allure of that belt before on Clavius's waist. The only guy to seem to resist that temptation was Squirrel Dude. And the second he put it up for grabs, he lost it. So what can you say about his success? But right now, it's about oh. Satterfield. The huge knee busts open. Busts open Gnanik in the pin. No one to break it up. Oh, Just the two count. Oh, Night Demon was slow getting in the ring there. <laughs> oh, God, brain worms from Satterfield. <laughs> You're not going anywhere, Storbertus. You might as well sit down and get a cold drink. <laughs> oh, and here we go. <laughs> Night Demon. No, the quick counter. Look at that. The big man flips behind and gets the German suplex in. Oh, oh, oh. Look at these uh, clothes lines. Will Oh, but yeah, he's wise we'll... to it now. Oh, look at this. Satterfield. Oh, some sort of modified Alabama slammer there. And he goes into the pin, but just the one count. Will we see the tag division turn on its head once again for like the 12th time in the last few weeks? Or will we see the Snackers nail the coffin shut on six feet down under? Well, Satterfield is such a beast right now. Just 
just fighting out of. Oh, oh no! The ref, the ref took took a night demon to the face. Now anything could happen. Will Buffett get involved? J5 in the ring. Here comes a double team. Oh, <laughs> the huge double back body drop. <laughs> oh boy. Oh no! Oh, J5, J5 gonna throw it. The shake, rattle, and roll ends matches, but never in the Snackers' favor. <laughs> and there it is. Good night, Snackers. But we are gonna get top rope, Johnny. Johnny, before it's over, he's up top. What's he got for Night Demon? He's got about 300 pounds of his face right into his chest. The pin. They've done it. Oh, and easily wins. Oh, Satterfield with a beautiful interception. Hits the DDT, and that might close the door for six feet down under. If you are asking me, and it shouldn't be me answering it because I have no say in the booking, <laughs> but I think the unnatural snackers deserve that title shot at SummerSlam this Sunday at 8 p.m. UTC, and I can't wait to see them come out on Sunday nights. Oh, yeah, absolutely glorious, incredible stuff. <laughs> oh, and Muppet celebrating like he did anything. <laughs> Shape up. And could this be the reversing the curse of the shake, rattle, and roll? J5 dancing. They're all dancing. They're feeling it. All the torque coming out of J5. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, the unnatural snackers. You're winning in a red hot opening match. For Monday Night Claw. <laughs> Super. Oh but boy. Next up, we've got Dressed for Business, the team that thinks that they should just be handed the titles without even having to wrestle because they won one match at one point at some time that we don't even remember because time hasn't had meaning in months. But here they are against Mighty AFs. Clavius and Frostlord with with the World Heavyweight Champion. Tony plays poorly in their corner. A win here might seal it for them. They're coming off a huge week last week, but they have yet to take down the Snackers in direct competition. So this would only muddy the waters, but a loss here could be devastating. The good thing working for them is a loss here isn't a loss to another tag team they're directly competing against for that spot. We haven't seen Frostlord and Clavius vying for the two heads titles at all. They've been working on their singles careers and supporting Tony mostly. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, they're, they're more just a, just a coalition rather than an actual tag team, aren't they? They're, they're, uh... <laughs> uh, thanks, Benny Bobs. You figured out the entire point of this entire stream. <laughs> 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 Trying to make an AI you battle better brown. than it is. Go Clavius. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks to very much thanks to Skuro, he's brilliant. Um I'm garbage, but you know, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> ah Jimmy, we wouldn't be here without you. Oh cheers. You bring the crowds, I knock them down. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, you set up how oh, I fucked it up. You set up the crowd, I knock them down. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> but here they come, dressed for business. Lemon is good dances his way out. Tan Fox, the equestrian asshole, just kind of walking out like a dickhead. Like he always does. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not surprised Wee Chunk likes dressed for business. I know that man and I know his tastes. And his tastes are the opposite of mine. <laughs> also, hello, Wee Chunk. <laughs> from that one sentence. <laughs> no, I know, I know, I, I know him in real life. He's a friend of mine. <laughs> oh, dear. Aspiring Blood Bowl streamer, too. Jim, mm. you gotta get him to uh, pay you for uh, training. But here they come. They're too good for the ramp. Coming out of the restrooms, probably. <laughs> it's Clavius, Frostlord, and Tony played poorly. And despite the alignment of this entrance, Tony plays poorly, has basically nothing to do with this match other than he's going to stand there. It's all about his lackeys, Frostlord and Clavius tonight. Yeah, Clavius best, best known for his elephant ears and fucked up eyebrows. <laughs> yeah. Fuck 
sake, Tony! Stop being shit! <laughs> Tony may indeed walk in circles for a bit, yeah. Will we get Mighty AF's mantra of give up sometimes? Or are they here for a win? Do they have the tag team division in their sights? You know, both Frostlord and Clavius, excellent singles competitors, but they have not been able to shine recently with all these crowded fields and the regime of Jimmy Midmax Tastic just canceling out the mid card, as it were, and only to make room for his own gloriousness. <laughs> So now maybe they're looking at this tag division and saying, you know what? These tag matches have been excellent. There's tons of competition here. We could really make a name for ourselves with a big win tonight, and we could make a run for it in the coming months. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Good old Jim. Excellent commentary. I think you just gave more than bingo. <laughs> Yeah, I had to do my part for the comp for the bingo there. <laughs> Mordem, you should definitely link the bingo card in the, uh, in the chat for us again. Oh God, look at this! We have never seen this end matches before. <laughs> no, we have never seen the camel clutch end a match, and we're not gonna tonight try to rip the lemon head off. Find out if it's a real head or just a mask, but we will have to wait. What we do know is her muscles are definitely inflatable. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is for sure. Oh, too slow. Uh, Frosty and Fanfox going on the offensive. Offensive. <laughs> and oh uh, yeah, here we go. Frostlord down from just a couple moves. Fanfox raging right now. <laughs> That would be pretty great, honestly. Oh boy. Big and counter. Crosslord trying to battle back here. Will he get... Yes, he will get the knee in, and now he, the big man is on top. You know, it's funny, Fanfox, you know, he gets a little... Uh, I, want, I guess I'll say outstriped by uh, Lemon is good just because Lemon is so much, you know, more outspoken and also neon fucking yellow and hard not to look at. <clears throat> but uh, Grand Fox has really carried them in their last few matches and uh, was the reason they stayed alive winning their last match. So uh, do not sleep on Fan Fox. He is a fighter. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty much all viewers, isn't it? Pretty much all viewers, pretty much all Blood Bowl coaches, and uh... yeah, there's a there's a couple of mean Blood Bowl players from like various teams of gyms, like Flapfart and, and whatnot. But like, yeah, yeah, mostly mostly it's just the viewers. Anyone currently in the audience that is a wrestler that's talking is just their social media manager because we keep kayfabe up at all times, except for when I mention kayfabe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Clavius Viper, like a Viper, right in on that neck crank. We've seen it end matches before, folks. Mm. Going straight back, another vicious neck crank. Yeah, he knows. He knows the neck is the the the, the highway to the brain. <laughs> <laughs> and, if he, and if he can, and if he can shut back down, he's got to win. A quick snap suplex into a pin. This is a pretty hopeful pin. See, more names got in my head now. I'm trying to mix it up. <laughs> I just need to get really high and. <laughs> oh dear me! <laughs> oh, there's the patented Clavius DDT off those ropes. Yeah, and will we be seeing an RKO soon? The RKO. We've seen a lot of people digging deep for the RKO recently, but no one does it better than Clavius, including that like eight-second win to win the Chaos Chosen Championship at our inaugural pay-per-view. Yeah, absolutely. Remember, remember that like it was yesterday. It might as well have been yesterday for me, Jim. Oh, the big spine buster. buster! Oh, the pin. Lemon, not even, or fuck, I, oh, Jesus. 
Frostlord not even trying to break that one up. He knew he knew that wasn't gonna put Flavian so away. Yeah. Oh! oh and there's the Arcleo out of nowhere! Bust them open too! Somehow busted his forehead open on an Arcleo! <laughs> But, oh, Frostlord just eight seconds too slow to protect that pin. That was a win right there for Mighty AF. <laughs> yeah, he was taunting, wasn't he? He was taunting, and oh, that was... Oh, God. Let's get the brainworms in chat. I think Clavius is having some problems. <laughs> this is... If you're new to the JFW, this is the brainworms. This is what makes it all glorious. <laughs> Oh god, it's the rock bottom! Oh! The rock bottom by Fanfox! He digs down deep! Gets it! No one to break this pin up! Oh, oh Frost Frosty Lord. does! Frostlord very present to break the pin up by mistake. <laughs> oh, but Fanfox taking it to him. Oh, but he's not gonna... Oh, he's paying for his, his extracurriculars there. And now Frostlord out of ring. Both met legal men are down. Lemon is good as stirring. Can he get up there? He is. Will he call for that pin? <laughs> Devastating. He sure does. And crawling for the pin, but intercepted. Fanfox not getting it now. Stuck in the middle of the ring. And I think this is better getting Frosty in the ring. Uh, yep. is a bit faster, isn't he, to, to break up the uh, attempts and to run interference. So I think this is maybe is a good idea from them. Absolutely. Oh, the North Cell, look at this. Oh, yeah, Fan Fox really should have taken those couple seconds to tag in Lemon is good. Lemon has really not done much in this match thus far, but usually when he turns it on, he turns it the fuck on. <laughs> so let's see if he can get in and save this match. Because right now, Fanfox is about to get choke slammed. He's trying to fight out of it. <laughs> oh, no. No, excuse me. The right hook to the gut. And that'll take the wind out of you, folks. <laughs> oh, boy. This looks brutal. Absolutely. Fanfox a bloody mess right now. Trying to fight back. And that's not Stigmata on Frostlord. Oh, that's Fanfox's the... blood. And there's the tagon. We got a nice... Nice big punch to the midsection there, and now it's Lemon's time to shine. Oh, boy. <laughs> and he's just going to fucking clap and celebrate the ring like a dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, but there, oh, there he is, right up there, those big punches, but it looks like he's going to, no, he, you know, he just, oh, in for the European, too. And this is what we talk about with Lemon is Good. His moveset, just so innovative and, and, and incredible. Yeah, absolutely. He's, he's got all the moves under the sun, hasn't he? Will we see? Oh, there's this, this monkey flip. He takes a long time to do that monkey flip, though. He really does. <laughs> <laughs> and now the quick tag into FanFox could be a mistake here, but they should get a high-impact move in. Oh, the nice... Oh, there it is. Oh, beautiful. Three big moves. Excuse me. They got to get him away from Flavius, though. Unbelievable. Oh, oh, no. Lemon, or excuse me, Fanfox still suffering the effects of that that head injury. <laughs> yeah. Kind of, kind of missing his targeting a little bit. He needs to get him back over into the friendly corner. <laughs> Oh, no oh, he's doing a, uh, yeah, he's doing the lemon monkey flip there. There is a big thing planned for this Sunday. So yeah. that'll, be the, that'll be the lemon peel from now on. <laughs> <laughs> yep, oh, this oh, Sunday. I, th I thought he dropped his lemon for a second. <laughs> 2000 UTC, J5, 2000 UTC. That's the big one, SummerSlam. We've still got Stan Firm before it on Friday. J5 um, does not understand 24-hour clocks. He's an American <laughs> from the Midwest. <laughs> no, I, no, I said 8 o'clock. <laughs> Don't check the bot in case I'm wrong. I say a lot of stuff. We, okay, we know now that I should never be trusted on what day it is or what time of day it is. So don't listen to me. <laughs> 
It may uh, the be. lemon. I, I didn't see a lemon drop, but I was busy arguing with J5. <laughs> yeah, and I was looking at that. <laughs> 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 All right, and back to the action. Frostlord trying desperately to get something going here. Maybe he wants to think about tagging and play this. No, and another counter by I'm Lemon, victorious. and Frostlord just cannot. I oh, that, I love that. On I the knees to DDT. Oh, glorious. Glorious. No, oh, look I at that. Beautiful. In. Another rollover Until counter I'm into victorious. another DDT. And I will defend. And Lemon just can't him. can't really figure can't pick his target, but he's trying to lay it on. He just needs to get him away from Clavius and press his advantage. Here comes another Lemon Peel. <laughs> Thank you very much, Looper Carl 1973 and Wee Chung. Welcome to Team Fantastic. Glorious. Thank you very much. Uh, Looper cow. That's the uh, that's what the uh, the sons of Horus say, right? That is, well, that was his name, wasn't it? Horus Looper cow was. Uh, oh, is Horus. that what it is? Yeah, I know they just always. Uh, those were the first couple of books in the Horus series. They were awesome. Anyway, back to the action here. Oh, <laughs> and it's the same action we've been seeing. A little punchy kicky by <laughs> Lemon is good. Just <laughs> teeing off on Frostlord right now. <laughs> Oh god, this is this is an impressive showing, isn't it? From uh, dress for business, you gotta be, you gotta say. Yeah, they want you know they 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 suffered early, but they've really taken a taken on new life here in the second half of this match. But here comes Frostlord. He is a big man, just a couple punches. You know the equivalent of some of these higher impact moves that Lemon and Van Fox do. He's got a chance to tag though. He does not take it. Oh, oh, instead boy. he's going for a huge power bomb. Oh, the last ride power bomb stalls it. Oh no! And he just might be making lemonade there. This is all going to be about covering this pin. No, oh, he's not even going for the pin. Throws him into his own corner for some reason. He's just tossing uh, this him. This is off. a mistake. Does tag in Clavius? Can Clavius get over there? And keep on Lemon. Looks like it's going to happen. Wow. Lemon is good. Is in serious trouble. No, the counter. Chinbreaker counter. <laughs> Lemon is good fighting back. Frostlord took way too long on that transition. <laughs> oh, no. What's going on? <laughs> and now no one's tagging anyone right now. <laughs> Lemon is good firing himself up. He wants to do it alone. We have had to call out Lemon for his ego in the past. But now the Luthes press, and he's just going to punch that big-ass head. And now some stomps. Classic Clavius there. Viper strikes, if you will. <laughs> and here it is. Will Lemon suffer for his hubris? Had the opportunity, but did not take it. And now in dire straits. Yeah. And there's the uh, the not for the leg sweep. <laughs> oh, lemon drop! This, no. Lemon drop coming! Oh, That's there the it is! <laughs> <laughs> exactly, J5. That's why I said the not for the Oh no! What happened? <laughs> the lemon drop ends it. Frostboard nowhere to be seen. Lemon Drop just withstood everything. He called his shot and he took it. You know, he pointed to the stands. We all mocked him for it. But there he is standing tall. And now, how do you not say dress for business? Doesn't have as good a shot as anyone other than maybe the Unnatural Snackers at a shot at SummerSlam. Mighty AF, the losers tonight. <laughs> but that was a pretty good tag showing by Clavius and Frostlord. I think we're going to see more from them in the future. Yeah, that was that was really was incredible, wasn't it? And uh, uh, that's that's great, Luther Carl. I'm glad you I'm glad you love the JFW. That's brilliant. <laughs> that, was, that was a great match. Unbelievable stuff. Dressed for business, victorious. The top two tag teams in the division winning tonight, right back to back. And we are only getting started, folks. Oh, oh mate, I don't God. take no fucking oh, words, would you know about Warren? What the fuck, mate? You <laughs> take words? You seem to know a lot about it, I mean, mate. to be <laughs> fair, Tony wasn't in action, and we all know... No, look, now it's time for the debut of the crew. Oh, boy, there's some stories to tell here. The Norse Hunts, 
Space Cadet and Mora Klovach trying to get back into the fray as tag teams. Thought they'd come out, maybe get something like Breaking Storm, and all of a sudden the crew out of nowhere just seemed to happen to show up in the booking against the Norse Cunts. Who would have believed that a team of Artemis Black and Dionysian would go up against Space Cadet and Mora Klovach? It's unbelievable. <laughs> Managed by WR Spenny. They're all Welsh. <laughs> yep. And if you don't know, now you know. The Welsh are sheep fuckers, according to all the Brits in, <laughs> in the JFW. So all Welsh people at all times will always wear sheep masks as far as the JFW is concerned. Yeah. yeah. I, however, do not share that stereotype because I know full well that... Uh, all New Zealanders are also sheep fuckers, according to all Australians, and I know how this dance goes, and then, you know, all the Welsh people say the Scottish ones are the sheep fuckers, so I'm starting to think it's just uh, your rural neighbors are sheep fuckers, in your opinion. <laughs> well, the funniest thing is, when I showed this to Dio, he said, who's the looker on the left? <laughs> <laughs> This is their entrance? Yeah, man. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, welcome aboard the crew. And if you didn't know, it's spelled C-R, capital E, capital W, capital E, the crew. Get it? You, crew. Yeah, yeah there you go. Well, it's not written right there, but take my word. <laughs> <laughs> it's great as well, because Spenny's the one carrying the, lan the lantern with his fucking massive thighs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, WR spent former rugby breakout star now resigned to this bullshit. <laughs> Stay off the heroin, kids. <laughs> and when I say kids, I don't mean the sheep kind. <laughs> Wait, are those goats? Or are those... Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Whose goat is this jacket? See those two houses? Mine's the one in the middle. <laughs> That's how I was taught to do a Welsh accent. I don't think I did the accent right. <laughs> it was literally the thing that Frost Lord said and the thing I said. <laughs> oh, dear me. All right, well, as they're making their entrance, I don't need to see it. Fucking space can have to make his weird ass entrance. I'm gonna refill my water, I'll be right back. <laughs> Incredible, isn't it? There you go. <laughs> little D. Oh, I forgot to put Little D on his shorts. I wanted to put Little D on his shorts and I forgot. Shit. There you go. So not only did I not change Muppet to the Snackers, I also forgot to put Little D on uh, Dio's shorts. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! I forgot the Norse Cunts entrance. Now, I gotta say this though, Space Cadet falls victim all the time to Dio in the Blood Bowl world, but he is not on hour 18 of a 24-hour drinking stream, so now he gets to bring the pain. Is Dio ready for this one? <laughs> oh, the nose cunt. <laughs> the happy trail synergy is strong with the Norse cunts, folks. <laughs> Fucking nose, honestly. I'm telling you. Fucking nose. <laughs> I'm gonna find everyone who plays nose in real life and just beat them to within an inch of their fucking life. <laughs> yeah, the Velcro 69. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's sad 
Nazis, but <laughs> brilliant stuff. Ah, oh, the dogs almost killed my fiance in excitement, but they have been wrangled. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Good lord, they took a lot of time getting into the ring tonight. Yeah, they yeah, both teams are taking I think they knew what was in store for this one, Jim. <laughs> Oh boy. Now, the real question is does a winner here, does a definitive winner here have a shot? <laughs> have a shot at SummerSlam? I say no. But maybe you could argue the North's cunts dominating could maybe say a thing or two about that. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Hello, Coggy. I mean, they are a new tag team, uh, Die on Art, so it's not. <laughs> yeah, but coming in and beating the North's cunts, I mean. Is that really that impressive? <laughs> no, that's the thing. So I don't think there's that much. Beating a new tag team is not that impressive. Beating the Norse Cunts isn't that impressive. So mm, true, yeah, true. I don't think this is this is just fitting the theme of tag teams rather than. Uh, yeah. Well, the only team. thing is though, if 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 the Norse Cunts beat the two uh, self-proclaimed greatest competitors in all things that they do, <laughs> uh, you've gotta you've gotta allow for just a little bit of leeway, Jim. In, uh, in, in in relishing that victory because uh, you know Dio, Dio, I mean he's a perfection uh, uh, personified in the Blood Bowl community, if I'm not wrong. And Artemis has never once made a mistake, so <laughs> you know that's uh, th those are heavy odds to overcome. Yeah, absolutely. This is what Artemis looks like in real life. Yeah, Artemis is the one with the ear, uh, the black shorts and the <laughs> ear. In case he's fucking stupid. <laughs> Dio was meant to have a little D on him, but I forgot. Um... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Dio kind of looks like, uh, again, forgive me for putting this one in everyone's head, but he kind of looks like uh, Jimmy Minmax Tastic eight years after uh, stopping training. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, that's what he looks like in real life. I didn't know whether to have his profile picture from about 20 years ago or, or actual real life Dio, so I went with real life Dio. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, we're all avoiding the little D conversation. <laughs> we all know it's there, but we're too good. We've got better material. <laughs> and look at this. Uh, the crew really taking it to more Flobash right now. But he's trying to come back, and there's a nice little uh, forearm. Might get something going here. <laughs> oh, look at this. Yeah, instantly monkey uh, <laughs> monkey flipped into the ropes there. Or, no, slingshotted, excuse me. Yeah, slingshot. And we've got four streamers here. Only mm. four streamers in this match, so this is quite <laughs> the... Uh, quite the... <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, look at this. Instant tag. <laughs> oh, the half bus and crab. We've been, we've seen that in matches before, Jim. We've seen it win well, titles before. Legitimately. Yeah. yeah, legitimately, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, Jimmy Minmax Tastic. Oh, he <laughs> missed with a gut punch. Jimmy <laughs> Minmax Tastic uh, seizing, I won't say winning, I'll say seizing the EAB belt off of EAB himself with the Boston half crab uh, but you know his title ran largely in dispute and sure enough the Twitterverse <laughs> is letting it fly with the not my champions look at that everyone echoing it it's, not my it's, champion I've Ash noticed champion. it's always Skuro Metso that starts it it's funny and that, Skir, you know Skuro Skuro's one of those guys he's got his ear to the ground in the JFW. He knows what's going down backstage. That's why he's always getting in fights back there, Jim. He knows exactly, he knows exactly the rot and the filth and the stench of corruption in the JFW backstage. And uh, if he's going to be the one who's brave enough to call it out and then get the crowds rolling in, uh, you know, in in support, then so be it. That's what that's the kind of competitor he is, Jim. Well, you say that, but I think he's just a, a peeping Tom in the locker rooms with his camera all the time, to be honest. But <laughs> yes, Cookie, six Jimmy of, is the true Six champion. of one, half dozen of the other, Jim. <laughs> really, Jim? Really? <laughs> 
<laughs> my, my demon knows what's best for him. <laughs> oh man, that's great, best. <laughs> A 1-1 one, one win for Dio. <laughs> <laughs> Dio uh, getting beaten up here a bit, isn't he? I wonder how he thinks this is affecting his equity. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, he got that arm worked over and then tried to throw a punch and it did not go so well. So. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go with negatively to answer your question. No, <laughs> oh, what's this? Oh, a little bit of a rallying comeback, though, by Dio. Oh, look at that, this? bouncing off that turnbuckle, <laughs> kind of wobbling his way <laughs> into a lariat and a bulldog. But it was definitely effective on the 90-pound soaking wet space to that. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> there is no champion. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> The no oh, dice. look at this though. Oh, beautiful drop Ooh. toe hold into the elbow to the lower back. And now Dio in some trouble. The big man, Mark Lovach, taking it to him. Oh, instant counter though. <laughs> Artemis just in the corner shouting. Yeah, not calling for a tag or anything like that. <laughs> Probably just calling Dio a shitter. <laughs> Oh, but he's going to get a tag now. No, he's not. No. Yeah, they haven't quite mastered their tag team acumen just yet. No, not yet. <laughs> oh, what's this? Oh, look at this. Northern Light Suplex. Into the pin. Artemis there to break, uh, to, to protect it. Oh. But more of Lovatch kicks out. <laughs> oh, right, Artemis <laughs> instantly fucks up Space Cadet. Didn't see what happened. Oh, he's just wrecking. He's just... Space oh, side awesome. Russian leg sweep. Mora Plovash recovering nicely from all that, but now has no one to tag in. More, uh, Space Cadet not anywhere near. Oh, his he's stealing his move oh. again. Oh, uh, yeah, Mora Plovash, he learned this from the best, and that is Space Cadet. <laughs> and he's going to land on Space Cadet as he does it. He is down below that corner there. <laughs> Oh, and now he's going up for the elbow drop, too. Oh, if, boy. Uh, if, if Space Cadet was anywhere near to protect this, I think this could be over. <laughs> Big elbow drop coming. Oh. Finally hits it, sticks it right in the gut. But Artemis is going to be right there to break this up. Yep. And he sure is. And now Space Cadet is stirring. He's getting back to his corner. Too little, too late. Does more oh, that should have more in him to keep this match going. <laughs> Little D manages to get the counter. <laughs> oh, and he's looking to finish oh. it. Yeah, I don't know what Dio's finisher is, but oh, look at this, this underhook DDT. Yeah. Pretty good stuff. It's Dirty Deeds done with sheep. <laughs> <laughs> it's got it. And that will do it. Space Cadet afraid to get in the ring there. Uh, no one breaking up that pinfall, and Dio with the win didn't stick it on on uh, Space Cadet, much to everyone's chagrin. <laughs> but the crew victorious in their debut, and that is definitely not going to be the last we've heard of them. And they're probably going to talk about this left, right, and center for the next week. <laughs> probably. <laughs> oh boy. But congratulations to the crew, W.R. Spenny, bringing in some boys, and they are impressing thus far. Yeah, thus far. They're all there in their short shorts. <laughs> but, you know, Spenny, Spenny knows, uh, you know, I got to believe that a little bit of Spenny's motivation here was to get some backup, because on Friday night, we heard it from the man himself, Dave. Dave calling out Spenny saying they were not done with each other and you know Spenny got his win on him already but maybe worrying like oh I might have uh you know I, you know I might have uh lit the spark that sets off the forest fire here <laughs> oh boy <laughs> what a celebration that was <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea, J5. Might do a super cut of, of Rick's promos. Yeah, that's a good idea. And next up, we have one of my favorites and one of my least favorites, Dance Dance <laughs> Revolution. 
Z Talk the Day and PTK Primetime Kev against Breaking Storm, Breaking Dad, and Nat Strike Storm. Ah! <laughs> Strike Storm. Those two assholes. <laughs> Strike Storm. Strike Storm. Whatever his damn name is. They're getting a match, even though I don't know. Oh, no, they have won one once. They won yeah. at least one match in their career. Yeah, and look, it's extreme. Sounds... These two What's are the that? two teams with not much to left, you know? And they're, they're at the bottom of the pecking order in the in the tag division, and that's why it's extreme. Oh, yeah, extreme rules match. They're going to have to uh, dig deep and dig into each other with those structural kendo sticks. <laughs> Dance Dance Revolution has a shot, in my opinion, at SummerSlam, but zero shot if they lose this match that's yeah. for damn sure yeah absolutely <laughs> it's only this one tag team Zakara. <laughs> oh boy what an entrance this is absolutely <laughs> Z-Talk the Dane DTK Dance Dance Revolution the two Danes Or not Danes, whatever. No. No, not Danes. Yeah, Dansk, Dansk yeah, Revolution. Dance. Yeah, Danes. Yeah, hadn't seen Fox the Danes. I don't know what I'm doing anymore, Jim. I need a minute. <laughs> they are cocky. They're up in the next match, in fact. It's like I am meet a mid. No, it's a selfie stick, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking jump! I love it. Uh, it's, it's never disappoints. <laughs> and he's making it rain. We don't know why or with what. <laughs> yeah, serious cocky. <laughs> Yeah, maybe they should have been Das Hats, to be fair, but never mind. I, I couldn't pull them once I put them in, could I? And here comes Breaking Storm, the father-son duo the Breaking Dad and Matt Storm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they used to be called the Amaze, didn't they, ages ago in England. I've heard it. But I like this being more extreme because obviously Das Hats aren't, are, shouldn't be extreme. I don't know, I just thought it seemed to work and then I realized... Well, if you were asking someone for outside opinions on this one, Jim, and I don't know if you are, but I would have said that the weakest, uh, the weakest win rate tag team should probably be going up against the best tag teams uh, because that gives them a bit more to steal a line from last match equity if they are able to win it and if they don't win it then they're out anyway that's yeah. that's how i would have tried to uh, differentiate these two but as we know and through all of my frustrations with how mr jim mcmahon books this show i have no say in these things so we're stuck with this match but i think it's going to be a good one because at least half of it is on the floor <laughs> did not <laughs> <laughs> did not start as well as I'd hoped they would. <laughs> oh, God. This is a clusterfuck. Yeah, the extreme rules. There's no tags needed in this one. No countouts. <laughs> Weapons can be used, but will they? Oh, just a double head, triple headbutt. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, shades of Scaramezza with those quick headbutts. <laughs> Oh, and a headbutt straight back from PTK. Yeah, these two, these two are just going right for their uh, advanced brainworms. But here we go, B PTK out of the ring, but right back in, not grabbing a weapon. <laughs> and we've seen that knee stomp and matches before as Matt Storm <laughs> takes it to Z Talk today. Oh yeah! Whoa! What a Whoa. power slam from PTK yeah. and a big DDT from Z Talk. This is absolutely dominating from Dance yeah, Dance. It 
It sure is. Don Stunt's revolution have breaking dad isolated in the ring. His son taking a little breather outside. And uh, they could even consider a pinfall here. Probably a little too early, though. Probably, yeah. And now Storm back in the ring. Oh, z -talk did not see him coming. <laughs> Official All Elite Wrestling has followed. Well, that's a good Twitch username, isn't it? <laughs> I wonder if it's real. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> Maybe, maybe they're going to dress up a guy in all pink with bunny ears. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Oh my god, look at that. Well, the account was created 20 hours ago, so I'm just going to go out on a limb and say it's probably not real, Jim. Oh. Unlike your Mia Khalifa sub... Jim Shard. Look at this by Zetok. Unbelievable power. <laughs> and now they've traded off big man on little man right now. <laughs> and they certainly have. Oh, Matt Storm. Yeah, yes. and now. Oh, Zetok. Zetok taking him on both right now as PTK trying to recover on the outside. But he's about to be in some trouble as Breaking Dad is crawling to his feet here. <laughs> and now, sure enough, oh boy. Yep. <laughs> It'd be amazing, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, could you imagine how good it would be if PTK was in... <laughs> it's, it's just in pro wrestling. So I, I, haven't watched, I haven't watched AEW in months, really. <laughs> but I'm going to watch out Wednesday because I want to see my boy, the War Horse. Oh. He'd like Warhorse. He's getting a shot against Cody. He's not even, he's an indie guy, but they're doing this thing where they bring in indie guys. Uh, is he like Warhorse. Crusher? Is that his gimmick? No, well, he's like Crusher if Crusher was like five foot eight. <laughs> but, <laughs> and then doing kind of a Ultimate Warrior cosplay. Oh, he doesn't, um, he doesn't wear a horse head then. No, no, he doesn't wear a horse head. <laughs> Disappointing. Uh, probably like three Arc Malax. Have you seen the characters Jim makes? It takes him like eight minutes. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm joking. Wow. Scoops <laughs> so me. <laughs> oh, man. Ed Kingston is also... He's one of the nicest dudes I've ever met. He is <laughs> such a good human being. I was so happy. I didn't get to watch his match, but I was so happy that he was on the show. <laughs> I don't know, some of them take ages and some of them being pretty quick, but yeah, quite a lot. Quite a lot, I'd say. Easy hunt, yeah, easy hunt. And as the mind wanders with these two tag teams, we'll pull back at the action. There's a pin there! Oh no, he's on the belly. Accidental, I thought pin, but PTK uh, is prone. Oh, not even oh look at this. Top rope, though, for Matt Storm. Oh, well done. I know. <laughs> I, I, I thought about it for a bit. Oh, and there it is. The Hurricane Rana off the top rope. Z-Talk in trouble. PTK taking it to breaking death. Chokeslam coming, though. And Matt Storm a little dazed there. And now in trouble. This could be it. <laughs> the power slam, the, the double power slam. Big side suplex. Uh, oh, yeah, I think... Uh, I think uh, Matt Storm is in serious trouble right now. No Zeta. help coming from Daddy. Zeta just, just, just fucking taunts afterwards. Yeah, that is a constant. Uh, the egos of some of these JFW competitors. Oh, that was a great move, though. They need to put in a pin on Storm right now. Yeah, they've got to pin him, surely. Oh, they can just toss him into the corner. Yeah, yeah, well, here comes Breaking Dad and their advantage. Oh, this is now. it, PTK. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, but... It's the big Kev bomb. It sure is, but Breaking Dad leaving the ring. Oh, a mistake. <laughs> Not enough time. Not enough time for that pin. I think uh, I think Breaking Dad was thinking about a weapon there, but he got back in the ring quick enough to save the pinfall. <laughs> Oh, and here's a finisher. Another finisher by uh, 
uh, by Z Talk there. Oh, and in the pin. Oh, this is definitely it. Oh, 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 oh. Just, in, just in the nick of time. Breaking Dad was there to break it up, but he was just a half second late. And Dance Dance Revolution getting the win a little bit closer than they would have liked it. But they are alive and still in contention to go to SummerSlam. But they've got a long way to climb. Yeah, they might they might be in some kind of action and when Wedden's Dave World Class here. Eh? You gotta believe it. We still have to sort out so many title matches for SummerSlam. But the one everyone is talking about is the two heads title. And uh, this uh, this action is exactly why. Just furious off top to bottom on the card. Everyone really bringing their all right now, except for the North Stunts. <laughs> oh, dear. What a great team. All right, Jim, you know what's up next. We have another debuting tag team coming out in just a minute. Why don't you walk us through this new tag team? They are going up against the fucking rats, our two heads tag champions. Talk about it while I go take a lead. Okay, well, that was disappointing because obviously, as we all know, I'm terrible at talking, but I'll do my best. So <laughs> we've got... Cocky and Moridam. Moridam, of course, obsessed by eating balls. So it's cock and ball torture. That's that's what it is. Cocky accompanied, as always, by Sheila. Moridam, you know, likes going for balls. Cock and balls. That's the joke. And, uh, yeah, this is it, you know. So they're a brand new tag team, so not much is expected for, of them. And uh, they're up against, you know, so they're going straight in against the uh, the fucking rats. The fucking rats have been off TV for a while. Um, so they wanted to fight somebody, you know, who like... Uh... <laughs> oh, cocky. <laughs> so they wanted to fight, you know, they needed a tune-up match. So they've been thrown at the deep end, Moradam and Cocky. But of course, they've both been very accomplished in singles. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's very, uh, very, very... Stella, in fact, uh, singles competitors, and Cocky as well has been multiple stream champion in the Stream Two Heads Championship. So uh, you know he knows how to, he knows how to tag team wrestle. There you go. He's been in a lot of tag teams. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, there's plenty of people left for singles, in Gary. <laughs> and here they come, cock and ball torture, the team of Kaki, Moradam, and managed by Shida. <laughs> and also, uh, just in time for Moradam, uh, Jim, could you set the screen for me? <laughs> oh, I certainly can. <laughs> Thank you. It's, uh, oh, I'm getting Shawnee frame. Good. A CBT. Yeah, that's a good idea, yeah, Lean Gary. We'll just we'll just put everyone in tag teams <laughs> by default. <laughs> Jimmy Fantastic and Table Leg can be the can be the singles. Yeah, team. we are seeing an exodus in singles competition. Everyone really knows right now. This is. This and the and the and the flip flop loserweight division are basically your true only hope to avoid the <laughs> wrath of Jimmy Min Max Tastic, uh, and I guess a little bit the Chaos Chosen Championship, but you know that's been missing in action for weeks around the waist of Rick Reckless. Yeah, yeah, Rick has not wrestled since winning the Chaos Chosen Championship. He's only appeared video appearances. The people are saying that he's scared to put on his title uh, on the line against uh, Squire L. Do. They were former yeah. best friends. Squirrel Do not happy about how he no. perceives Rick running but, from him. But we did get the confirmation that match for the, the Chaos Chosen Championship is happening this Sunday at SummerSlam at 8 p.m. UTC. Absolutely, 100%.
Yeah, well, it still it still requires Rick to show up with that belt, but I don't think he's going to defy Mr. McMahon or Mr. Jim McMahon's orders on that one. Yeah, if he doesn't turn up, he's fired. So there you go. <laughs> Does Jim have the belt now? No, no, Jim can't go down in weight classes. You can only go up. So luckily for everyone, Jimmy Minmax Tastic can only ever take the world heavyweight title and the extra arms belt. So sorry in advance, Tony plays poorly. <laughs> Thank you for buying us both the game. We'll now use it to stroke Jim's ego accordingly. <laughs> oh, I like it when things get stroked. I'm sure you do. <laughs> oh, a big foot to the head. <laughs> Finny the fucking rat. <laughs> I'm excited to know what is next for you, Calcium. After that huge comeback win backstage, taking it to the cotton, it probably didn't feel too good to watch him go on and somehow outlast and win in what was probably the greatest JFW match that took place in an actual ring. Uh, and, uh, you know, now he's getting his title shot supposedly against against Tony Place Corley, the world heavyweight champion at, at SummerSlam this Sunday. How are you feeling about that, Calcio? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and yeah, uh, welcome aboard, Dave. I'm sure, I'm sure you'll find a way to carve out your niche. Fuck the rats. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you don't see the rats lose often. I think it's only been what twice ever. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Yeah. But uh, if ever, if ever a JFW champion was going to lose a match. This would be the kind of match they frequently do lose, so. <laughs> Basically meaningless. <laughs> the week before a pay-per-view. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah, it is basically meaningless. But there you go. You know, it should be a good match here. Eh? We've got great two great singles competitors and a great tag team. And unlike these other debuting tag teams, uh, you know, Cocky and Mordam are well known around JFW, so. The rat, the rats probably have them scouted a little bit. Oh, look at this! Uh, Mordam trying to get involved a little bit there. Yeah. Didn't really help though. No. <laughs> Two count there on Cocky. Yeah, that was really close, wasn't it? He's being battered apparently. Absolutely, and now tagging in Chunter. Cocky fighting back now, probably thinking about getting a tag, and you don't want to see more damn come in if you're a guy in a diaper. Or, excuse me, if you're a fucking rat. God damn it, I keep forgetting who's tagged with who. <laughs> All these new tag teams, I don't know why. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh. Oh, brute, look at that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I look brutal. Yeah, Calcium, you can look, but you can't touch. Uh, she is spoken for by that man in that stained diaper. So, <laughs> I don't know what you've got to offer, buddy. <laughs> oh, dear me. <laughs> King Cocky. Oh, shit. Oh, the bulldog. Brutal. Oh, and there's the tag in the Mordam, and right off the bat, that big drop kick. Just one flicky flack, just one. <laughs> oh, Monty, yeah, you'll recognize him, won't you, as, uh, as fucking Arthur, whatever the fuck he is. <laughs> Arthur Danga. Um, <laughs> yeah, he's... <laughs> oh, God, it's the Crystal Walls of Chunturino! Oh, uh, we still haven't renamed that, huh? And there it is, uh, on the literal fucking goblin, but no dice. And he fights his way out of it into a pin. Oh, Riff real slow on that count. <laughs> and then reverses out, and uh, now we are resetting. 
Oh <laughs> no, I'm instantly just getting beaten on. Yeah, but we know how quickly Mordam can change a match. All it takes is that laser guided fist for your vulnerables. <laughs> Absolutely. And I gotta tell you, you know, a week before a uh, convoluted match in which you've got to put your titles on the line, the last thing you want is to uh, have your testicles touch your. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, I mean, unless you're like Fall Force. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Fall Force might enjoy it, but most people aren't going to enjoy top and ball torture. <laughs> and, and don't let anyone take away from you, Calcium. Backstage brawls are some of the best matches we've ever had in the oh. JFW. <laughs> case, oh, case in point, Scaramazzo versus the Golden Pagor. People still talking about it to this day. That happened months ago. But here we go. We just had the testicular crawl. Oh! And there's the low blow on Chunter. And the ref does nothing about it. And into the pin. Oh, oh cocky but Cocky a bit away. too slow to protect that pinfall. <laughs> <laughs> you get bingo moment. Congrats. <laughs> I forgot my password. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Chunter's balls have been removed, so I guess that's uh, operation successful for Moradan. <laughs> even if they can't, even if they go on to lose this match. <laughs> oh, another uh, another crystal walls of Chunterino. <laughs> can't believe did, you did keep you... saying that. Did, did you hear the disdain in my voice as I said it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, and another pin attempt. It's like that is the only counter that Moradam has for that move. Yep. <laughs> yep. Big sling blade from Finney, though. Oh, and look at that lovely neck breaker yeah. from Moradam. He's really feeling it. Feeling it too much, I think. No, just oh, maybe not. Man. No, Chunts are really slow to recover there. <laughs> oh, the bicycle kick. <laughs> oh, that's another go at his bollocks. Yeah, that's a, they, they're going to call that a breadbasket punch. <laughs> oh, look at this. Knock and ball torture, the surprise win. Just like we drew it up. Sometimes our, our, our champions do not like to take big risks for the win right before their title defenses. And this is... Uh, uh, this sure is something. Cock and ball torture with the win. I'm going to start thinking that punch, that last punch to the stomach was a little bit lower than we all thought. It's hard to tell on those uh, genderless costumes that they wear. Yeah. <laughs> Raced on the grind. <laughs> yes. Oh, so good. And welcome to the tag division. Cock and ball torture. Now, I gotta ask Jim, their debut match, they literally beat the champions clean. Do they just springboard past everyone? That's the question, maybe. Oh, well, it's a good thing Lemon is Good is not around right now because we'd be hearing words. <laughs> yeah, who knows? Maybe they need to uh, get into a further match on Wednesday Eve World Class. Maybe. Unbelievable stuff like hawk and ball torture. <laughs> and now it's time for the main event, oh baby. Oh god. N amazingly, Ardvac finally getting a match with even odds, but you gotta not like those odds. And look at this. Suddenly, Jimmy Minmax Tastic, Table Egg Wanger have drafted in Flapfart of all people, and it sure looks like they've been coordinating. What is going on, Jim? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anything about this, but it sure looks uh, looks good, doesn't it? We've got Tarsis and Kurgle, of course, are the two biggest uh, threats for the uh, Extra Arms belt title. We've got Arnvac, the money in the ass holder. And then we've got, yeah, the, the three fucking dudes there. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and, uh, you know, Table Leg Wanger calling out Ardvac, really going after him, trying to get 
a shot to take this contract from Ardback that Ardback rightfully won. The only way that's going to happen is if uh, uh, Mr. Jim McMahon allows it to happen. Otherwise, that is just not a thing that exists. You don't defend the money in the ass. You cash it in when you want to cash it in. So that would just be all sorts of wrong in my eyes. And then, of course, Tarsus, the man scorned by Jimmy Min Max Fast, looks stealing his spot, stealing his identity briefly, and stealing the extra arms belt. Hashtag not my champion. He now reigns with that title. But Kurgle, the odd man out seemingly, has been on an absolute tear. He's been facing off against the best in the super heavyweight division, and he and Tarsus have an even claim at that belt. And if those two can win this tonight, it's going to be hard to say that one of them or the other one should not be in that match. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> nice. this, this shouldn't be a squash, should it? This is absolutely six of the top guys in the JFW. Yeah, yeah. And there he is. He has gone through hell and back just because Table Leg Wanger saw his binky and wanted to take it for himself. But uh, you know what? They barely beat him last week. He put up a hell of a fight in that handicap match. Ardback is not a man to be taken lightly, even though you look at him and you say, no, I'm going to take you fucking lightly, you goddamn loser. <laughs> ah, one of my favorite entrances in the JFW, one of my favorite competitors in the JFW. The Kurgle has such a weird career here. Started off a little lukewarm, started targeting testicles, got drawn into that, and he really rose up the ranks. He seems to have put that in his past, and now he's just become the dominant force we all want him to be. Yeah, absolutely. He's been great, hasn't he? Incredible record. And uh, yeah, he's absolutely up there um, with uh, you know the big boys in the extra arms belt. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah, he went on that absolute tear, didn't he, with the ball shot? The ball shot battles, <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> Lean go. <laughs> <laughs> Standing in awe of him, forgive my silence, the Kurgle, always a force to be reckoned with, and when he gets a main event match, he makes the most of it. And speaking of making the most of what he's been given, here comes Tarsus. The problem is, every time he's been given something, it gets taken away before he's given a real, honest, fair shot at it. Tarsus has a bone to pick with pretty much everyone past Jimmy Fantastic and up the ladder in the JFW, but he hasn't shown too much emotion. He's been coming out and doing what's right, and you gotta believe that hard work will get rewarded. He is here tonight to prove a point and he is going to SummerSlam, and in my opinion, he is going to take the extra arms belt off of Jimmy Minmax-tastic. And I think we are going to see a long reign, a long and honorable reign by the massive luchador, Tarsus. <laughs> well, I wouldn't count on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, well. We can basically say Jim's opinion is a spoiler alert, <laughs> but we don't know for sure because neither of us are involved in the booking. Right, Jim's? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Look at these absolute <laughs> yeah, badasses. I wish, wow. I wish I was more than five foot ten of a pack. 
Look at these, the three best wrestlers in the JFW. Oh. Uh, yeah, they. We need to realign their. Uh, we need to realign their uh, their entrance though, so that uh, they're in a skin tone gradient here. And what? <laughs> From tan to pale ass northern. <laughs> Now this is good, I think. You've got the little guy in the front with the two yeah. monsters behind him. It's like a vanilla Oreo coming out right now. <laughs> Jimmy Minmax Tastic, the man with the larger, the larger wardrobe than anyone else on the planet, apparently. <laughs> yep. Yeah, Flap Flap looks great, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Very cordial of Flap Flap, letting Table like get in the ring first. Yeah. Flap Flap is nothing if not cordial. <laughs> no skirt, no, no. I forgot. <laughs> I'm wearing one now, though. <laughs> kind of has a skirt there. Yeah, there's a skirt and shorts, which defeats the point, really. <laughs> no. Well, who knows? Anyone can win. It's not predetermined. Who knows what's going to happen? Yeah, the competition in the JFW is as fierce as you can imagine it to be with all of these uh, just absolutely jacked competitors. However, there is a man up top that puts his finger on the needle a little bit to try and push things in the directions that he wants. And that man is Mr. Jim McMahon. And you've got to believe a match like this is being set for one reason and one reason only. Yeah. To entertain the fans. Oh, this match has a uh, time limit of 15 minutes. I didn't even see that. Yeah, but you know, like the like the last time we had a 3v3, we don't want it to last for 10 years. Fair, fair enough. <laughs> it's got the it's got the potential to. Well, expect the arena lights to go out for 14 minutes in a minute, and then a uh, harmless uh, a harmless decision that will have to be made. <laughs> and I'm gonna believe it's gonna be made in. Uh, Jimmy and Table Leg and uh, Flat Fart. Nah, that's a that's a mouthful. Fucking Team Fan Fat, Team Fantastic's favor. There you go. <laughs> team Fantastic, glorious. Yeah, so that, there's something all right. And look at this: Tarsus versus Jimmy Min Max Tastic. Could we see a similar result on Sunday? These two in the ring against each other. Probably without the others on, around the outside, though. Yeah, who knows what's going to happen. Oh, brilliant, brilliant stuff from Jimmy Fantastic there. <laughs> he's really showing everybody yeah, what he's doing. Yeah, made brilliant, of. just holding his foot and standing there yeah. mindlessly. Fantastic, no brain worms here. <laughs> he's, a, he's really controlling the pace of this match. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> this timed match. <laughs> absolutely no hurry to get to the action, that's for sure. Oh, big back body drop by the two men. Oh, baby, look at this. The vicious neck crank. We've seen this in matches before. Good, yeah, fair, fair point, Bezel. I'm not entirely sure why I thought for, <laughs> there would ever be a match for Jimmy's title with, it, with Jimmy and Tarsus and no one else present. <laughs> 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 oh wow look at Tarsus here yeah Tarsus taking it to Flatbart and <laughs> cross into the ropes incredible stuff now Kurgle's in I think Kurgle's been Flat Fart before you know in a, in a 1v1 I, I do believe he has yeah. I think with a low blow yeah there might, there might be some uh, there might be some uh, some uh, you know extracurriculars there <laughs> <laughs> Between these two. Yeah. Oh, oh. Look at that, what a maneuver. 
<laughs> yeah, they did a lot of slamming into each other, didn't they? Gotta think that Kurgor's gonna come off better encased in armor. <laughs> you think that, but you do see uh, Flatheart allowed to wrestle with those claws. That armor is basically useless. Oh, very good. Yes, that's true. And now, uh, just just having a little wander about the arena with yeah. with them in his arms. Gets countered out of it, though, and Flatheart is not in a great position over there, right next to Ardback and Tarsus. Yeah, this is very dangerous. Good job they're the good guys. <laughs> <laughs> we don't break kayfabe, Jim. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Jim Warrior Jim Warrior Princess. <laughs> For fuck's sake. <laughs> well, I guess uh, we're going to be seeing Jim debut a new outfit. <laughs> <laughs> no, th these three are, are the baddies, aren't they? Ardvac, Despicable, you know, Despicable Loser should never have been in the match in the first place. Tarsis a joke of a character who got beaten up backstage what a what a wimp and then you've got Kurgol who just cheats by kicking people in the bollocks all the time so that these three are pathetic whereas flap fart absolute legend of jfw table leg wanger what a paragon of virtue and of course jimmy fantastic everyone's champion you know they're the good guys you done <laughs> 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 and uh yeah t not entirely sure why we're not doing a count here but uh all right yeah um, no, i don't know why either but these two are just really taking it to each other outside mm -hmm. the ring uh maybe want to consider getting that action back inside those ropes because we are now a third of the way through this match. <laughs> yeah. And here we go, finally, rolling Flapfart into the ring. <laughs> Kurgle continues his onslaught. What the hell? And he's going to bring him right into his team's uh, turnbuckle and now tagging in Ardback. We see some yes, we will. Look at that. Holds him up for the arm or the uh, axe handle to the arm there. Oh, man. And oh. flat fart. I don't. I didn't see a tag, but okay. Oh, well, Did look, he dive and make a tag there? I didn't see one either. But look, if Jimmy wants to get in, then Jimmy wants to get in. Yeah. He? Well, we do know that that's basically uh, what the uh, rule book says for the JFW. Jimmy <laughs> gets what Jimmy wants. But right now, I don't think Jimmy wants this abuse from Ardvac, and he's still getting it. He is, isn't he? How does Ardvac do it? I don't know. <laughs> I really don't. I've seen him. I have no idea. <laughs> but there we go. Now Jimmy in control here. Good. Everything is as it should be. Go on, Jimmy. Everybody loves you. <laughs> and now uh, Ardvac thrown out of the ring and just getting savaged by Jimmy Ninmax Dastin. <laughs> Great stuff. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going. I thought for a second we might get that as the glorious first ever announced table. <laughs> Ardvac putting Jimmy Minmax Tastic through one would be the most legendary thing of all time. <laughs> And we are just about halfway now yeah. through this match. Pretty even, all things considered. Yeah. Oh, well. Big Ooh. military press and a big slam. Jeez. And now Ardvac crawling to the wrong corner for a second there. <laughs> now he's getting stomped. Restomped the groin, Jim. Yeah, Jimmy has no problem milking that clock, it seems. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, what's this? Ultimate Splash! Oh, baby! It was an Ultimate Splash, and Ardback in real big trouble now. Not going for a pinfall, though. Not going for that uh, rock bottom. Hasn't taken enough damage to ignore and hit the rock bottom. <laughs> Let the meat plan wipe to us. Brilliant. <laughs> oh, brilliant. And that is not where you want to be, Ardvac. <laughs> no, Three dudes looks... staring at you angrily, doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> this looks like a meme picture, doesn't it? <laughs> a variant of it. Yeah, I mean, I guess uh, the, the, <laughs> the police don't hurt me. Oh, into the rock bottom, Jim! Oh. was just waiting it out. Oh, come on, cover him. Wants to bring him slightly closer to his teammates. No, Tarsus no, was straight Table like cannot get in there. Oh, Jimmy not letting that one go. Does not like seeing Tarsus get one up on him. Well done, uh, Jimmy. I don't know what he's doing now. <laughs> this is weird. Oh, he's tagging in Wanger. We finally got to see Wanger in action. Yeah, absolutely. I don't know why everyone keeps attacking Tarsus. He's not in the uh, legal in the match right now. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. Oh, well, there you go, Wanger. You bit off a bit more than you can chew. Ardvac has recovered from that rock bottom, and now suddenly Wanger's not where he wants to be. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, God, look at that. What a super lad. Yeah. Oh, he's take, it's taken out of him, though. Look at that. He's still lying down. Our back. Oh, and now he's in for the quick pin. This is a bit hopeful. Yeah. It's a hopeful but pin. But only five minutes remain. Are we going to get a draw out of these two? Maybe. And, of course, as we all know, that would be a 1-1 win for Jimmy Fantastic. <laughs> 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 uh, I should have saw that one coming. <laughs> yeah, Ardvec tagging in Kurgle. Kurgle's got some work to do. Only four minutes and 40 seconds remain. But we know Kurgle can end the match as quick as it starts. I shouldn't say that because these guys took about 18 minutes to get to the ring. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Great counter by table leg. <laughs> a bit of a moonwalk. And now tagging in Flapfart. Flapfart doing uh, the lion's share of the work tonight. He is, isn't he? Yeah. It's almost like uh, that was intentional, adding in the massive bruiser to support Jimmy Minmax fast at the table leg. Give them a little bit of an extended breather. That is certainly what it looks like, yep. <laughs> Deadlift here into that slam. He loves this move. He does. Very Gr effective. Great strategy by Jimmy Fantastic and Table Leg Wanger. Brilliant. Oh, now tagging in Jimmy to pick the bones. <laughs> How admirable. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, running out of time. They're running out of time. Tarsus and Kurgol and Ardvac. Yeah, they sure. I mean, well, so is uh, Team Fantastic, Jim. Well, no, if, if the timer runs out, then Tarsus and Kurgol and Ardvac lose, see? I don't I don't think that was the stipulation, Jim. I think that's hopeful uh, or wishful thinking on your part. I uh, believe no, what no, that's what is, uh, Mr. Jim's man no has just uh, whispered in my ear there, so I'll scream. Oh, I'm sorry. Is this, a, is this official... Is this official? The time limit is only one-sided. Yeah, of course. Oh, well. well, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jim Jim McMahon has officially made this match. Um, Tarsus and Kurgle and Ardbeck need to win within the 15-minute time limit. Otherwise, it is a loss for them. And uh, Team Fantastic, all they have to do is... Uh, survive the match without a pinfall or submission or i guess disqualification if that could happen <laughs> but uh you can see they're really working hard here to uh to make the most of the two minutes and 15 seconds remaining <laughs> oh, dear. 
<laughs> I couldn't even get in the ring. <laughs> Bezel. <laughs> I, you're a very astute observer. Oh, God. Oh, and now this could be it. Ardvac getting tagged in here. One minute and 49 seconds. Oh, this? Oh, no. Oh. Ardvac, he hurt you. Oh, yes. Come on, Jimmy. Oh, no. Ardvac battling back. No. Oh, Jimmy counters it, but no one gets that big knee. Right up off his feet, the double, the low kick there. Ardback needs to turn it on. He's only got a minute 20. <laughs> well, that ain't going to do it, Ardback. Exhaustion. He's gone through so much the last few weeks. Can he get a win here? A win would surely protect him from, from, uh, <laughs> from table leg wanger breathing down his neck, and it would look pretty good for Kurgle and Tarsus, too. But there's only a minute left for their hopes and dreams. Whew. It's looking like they get that pin, and it's all you got, Ardback. Oh, he's oh, getting he's ready looking, to this. He's to looking to for it. He's looking to end it. Can Tarsus and Kerbal protect this pin? Oh no, the oh, will Jimmy miss that? That's the death. About thirty-five seconds remain. Jimmy Can Jimmy hang on? Will he tap with a chip? Tap? No. no. He fights his way out. 27 seconds left. Oh, Ardback had him. He had him. Jimmy doesn't give up that easy. He's tough. <laughs> That's why he's the champion. Oh, boy. Now, Tarsus, he's giving him the final shot at the man who stole his hopes and dreams. But there's only seven seconds left, you jackass. <laughs> Pin him! <laughs> <laughs> oh, he had him in the full Boston crowd! He put that on, he wanted that in to send a message, but he ran out of time. Oh, the humanity absolutely robbed. That was Ardback and Tarsus and Purple's match to win. But no, unfortunately, they get robbed once again. They just couldn't, they couldn't put it together. You know, at the end of the day, that's a deserved victory for Team Fantastic. Well done, Table Leg Wanger. Well done, Flat Fat. And of course, our hero, Jimmy Fantastic. Well done. No controversy there. That was amazing. And if you think that was amazing, um, we've just got something. Uh, just something's What's just this? coming through here. Oh, well, I didn't know this was coming. What do we got, folks? Uh, we've got something on the big screen here. Let's have a look at this. People. I've been saying that I've been running from Squirrel Dude. I don't care what the people say, but I've not been running. I've been waiting for the right time and the right place. The right time is SummerSlam and the right place. The right place is hell in a cell! Whoa. What? What just, what just happened? Good God. Well, um, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.